Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Thanks very much for joining us. Today we have another unboxing. Massive thank you to Vodafone UK for sending me this device. And today we are taking a look at the new HTC Desire 530. So first things first, as you see on the box there, I thought I spilled something over it, but it's not, it's a speckled design. So that pattern follows throughout. So we'll be checking that out on the device and on the home screen. So jumping into our unboxing, let's have a look around the box. What's on the back, some of them key specs, and let's see what we get inside. So around the left, the right, and the top of the box, you're not gonna find much at all. On the bottom, you're gonna find a bit of product and retail information. That's mainly for just stores. And then on the back here, I just wanna zoom in and show you some of the key specs here. So first one first is a Qualcomm quad core processor. It has a five inch 720 HD display, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, so we can do a good comparison against the Samsung Galaxy A3. So that will be coming up very shortly. This device can hold 256 gig of micro SD storage, eight megapixel rear camera, and a five megapixel front facing camera for them selfies out there. You've also got HTC boom sound, NFC, a nano SIM, and then just some other key little things just under here. One of them's Wi-Fi and some other key little bits. So turning back around to the front here, let's actually get into our phone here. So I'm just gonna lift the lid off. So the first thing you're gonna see is our actual device. And what they normally do is sit this in a tray. So I'm just gonna take that out for the moment and see what's underneath. First things first, you've got a little hand grip here that you can actually put onto the back of the phone, which I will show you shortly, is our cable for charging and syncing, and it is micro USB, so not USB-C. So first, you have a fingertips guide, and then inside here, it's going to demonstrate how to put your SIM card in, your SD card, and also the buttons on the phone, and also that hand grip on the back as well. Next is warranty information, and then health and safety information as always. And I believe under here, if you fold this one out, you're gonna find your UK three pin plug with a pop-up third pin. And you're gonna find some headphones as well. Very nice, very nice. So let's have a look at the phone. So what we're gonna do is just take it out of this tray here. Okay, so that speckled design, like I said, has followed out through the back. Looks really nice actually, kind of funky design. So down here on the bottom right or bottom left as you look at the device, you're gonna find that little, two little hoops there where you can put in that hand grip so you can hold this for taking them great shots there. So taking a look at the front of the phone here, you do have the HTC boom sound. So on the right hand side here in that nice gold, as you can see on the back, you've got the gold HTC logo and that speckled dots. Give that a press, that's your power button. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna do our setup video. Moving into our setup part of the video, so it says welcome here and select your language, so it's already English, and we hit next. Here, you have to select if you're on page you go or contract, we're gonna hit contract, and then next at the bottom. Next is our internet connection and setting up your Wi-Fi if you want to set up Wi-Fi or use your mobile data, we're gonna hit next at the bottom. Just check in information here, and it might do a software update as well or check in in case the software needs an update. So this next step is important. You need a Google account so you can download your apps, movies, TV shows, and games. So you will either have to sign in with one if you've previously had one, or you will have to create one, which you can do. So I'm gonna say skip at the moment. It's telling me all the things I'm gonna skip. Then you have Google services agreements, again, that you have to follow and adhere to and agree to. So you can protect your phone here, so you can set up protection for your device if you so want to. I'm gonna skip for now, as I always say, this is not really going out with me, it's not gonna go anywhere, so it's not gonna get damaged or stolen or nicked, as it's just in here for review purposes. So next is your name of your device, what you want to give your phone a name. Again, that speckled design follows through here on your home screen, I hope you can see that. So just underneath that Vodafone panel there, you've got that speckled design again. It does look really nice. It follows all the way through on the packaging, on the phone, and then as your home screen wallpaper here. So my initial thoughts are, I'm looking forward to testing this out. I haven't had a lower end model of HTC for a long time, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it compares. Also, we have the Samsung Galaxy A3, so we're gonna have great comparison videos, speed test videos, overall reviews, comparing both of them 
And also I'll do a camera test as well because they've both got the same cameras as well. Same RAM, same processor types. So it's gonna be a really close comparison with these two phones. And personally, it might be your personal thoughts, what you prefer, if you prefer HTC Sense over Samsung UI or TouchWiz UI. It's gonna be your choice, but just to let you know, this is running the newer Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow, where the Samsung Galaxy A3 is running Lollipop, but this did come out slightly later in the year of 2016, so bear that in mind. So that was unboxing, setup, and initial thoughts of the HTC Desire 530, thanks to Vodafone. Please give one of them in the video as it's much appreciated, and I will see you in our next one. Bye for now.